Day 47, our sovereign God, Genesis 45. Joseph said to his brothers, it was not you who sent me here, but God. You shall live in the region of Goshen and be near me. I will provide for you there because five years of famine are still to come. Otherwise you and your household will become destitute. It started in the garden. We too readily blamed others for our poor decisions or difficult circumstances. And while our sin does indeed impact one another, the bottom line is God's sovereignty. He is either sovereign or he is not. There is no middle ground. Rather than blaming his brothers, Joseph chose to rest in God's sovereignty and to celebrate the ultimate goodness that he clearly was bringing from the painful, lonely, dark 22 years that Joseph had experienced since his brothers had sold him into slavery. Looking back on his life and seeing God's redemptive actions, Joseph was able to extend remarkable grace to his brothers. Suddenly his life made sense. Yes, his story had been difficult, but he could rejoice in God's story. In anticipation of this famine, God had placed Joseph in the unique position of being able to give food to Jacob and thus preserve the line of God's chosen people. Israel. Indeed, God had sent Joseph for a purpose. It's black and white. God is either sovereign or he is not.